Hey guys, beautiful fall day happening out there. Before we get to today's adventure, I just want to take a couple of minutes and show you guys. I had a company contact me, and this is something I think that I'm going to use a lot this winter. So we're going to take a quick look at uh, a pair of heated gloves, and I'll flip you around and show you these. These look pretty darn good. Uh, as you guys know, Gary snow plows his own driveway, and I do not have heated grips on my four-wheeler. So I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, this might be a good solution. So let's take a look at these. Then we're gonna try them out. And I won't give a full review until we use them all winter, but let's take a look at some of the features and things. I, I, I talked to these guys. It sounds pretty cool. These things heat up in three seconds. Okay, so if that's the case, that's pretty darn amazing. Let's take a look. So the company is Sabbath Heat, and you can get these on Amazon, okay? Uh, $89 Canadian. And if you just look right here, it says heats up in three seconds. So to me, that's blooming amazing if that is the actual case. Two 3000 mAh Lion batteries. So that should have quite a bit of charge. I'm not sure how long those will last, but that's a, that's a big battery. Uh, these are actual leather gloves. Let's uh, splash proof design, of course, they better be. Let's carbon nanotubes. Okay, sounds fancy. Let's open it up and take a look. Okay, we better we better not gloss over this. 5 GM M squared of area density. That means nothing to me, but I guess what that means is that uniform heating will be achieved across the whole piece. Bending resistance over a million times. Okay, so these tubes inside here are going to be movable. Service life, 100,000 hours. That's actually pretty, okay, cool. Good to know. Alrighty. Oh, okay, there's our charger right on the top. These uh, come in a nice case. Okay, cool, a little carry bag. Instructions. Maybe it'll say in there how long the batteries last because I'm curious about that. Okay, so. I mean, they feel pretty good. Now they are a little bit heavy because obviously they've got a battery in each one of these. So there is a little bit of weight to the top of them. So right here is where the battery pack is. is in this splash portion of the mitt right there. Okay, so um, they do have an ordering size guide thing right on Amazon. Uh, seven and a half centimeters, you measure your middle finger. This is large, fits me perfect. So as you can see, there is a little bit of bulk there where the battery is, but uh, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. They feel good. Uh-oh, we're, we're working into our million times of movability here. <laughs> My nanotubes are flexing. Ah, so these are your power buttons. Okay, see, good thing I'm reading the manual. Okay, and inside each glove, there is a zippered pocket right there. And I've opened this one here to show you that inside is your big 3000 mAh battery. And then it just plugs in here to connect to the glove. And then I'm sure we just plug it into the charger here to charge it. I was a little concerned because it says in the book that it takes four to five hours to charge the battery. And I thought it was a single charger, but it's not. It's a dual, guys. There's a plug for each battery. So you can charge both batteries at the same time. Phew! Okay, so red light is on. Both the batteries are charging. Gonna take four to five hours. I just want to mention that this button control on here, uh, you just hold it 1.5 seconds to turn the gloves on and off. And then each time you click it, it changes lighting color to show you that you're on a different level. There's four levels of heating. Turn the gloves on, hold the button in for 1.5 seconds, and the, the gloves come on. And immediately, in under three seconds, they are heating. There's heat going through there. Now, there are four levels on each of these buttons. Red is the hottest. If you click it once, Goes to the next lowest level. So that's level three is purple. Level two is green. Level one is white. If you push it again, you're back to the hottest level, level four. To shut the gloves off, 
1.5 second press and hold, gloves are off. And they do retain heat for a few minutes after that. Now it shows in here the durations, um, depending on amb ambient temperature, they've got a whole chart here. Okay, yeah, so it does show that level one is the hottest and will heat to 60 degrees Celsius, 140 Fahrenheit. And level four, 45 degrees Celsius, 113 Fahrenheit. So level four, when the white light is on, you're on the lowest level and you're gonna get, you know, five to six hours at zero to 15 degrees Celsius. I got it, I figured it out. Just had to read the manual. So I actually have to go out and cut the lawn, not to cut the lawn, but to mulch the leaves. It's the final stage of the season. I go out and I mulch all the leaves on the lawn with the lawn tractor. And that takes me about two and a half hours. I'm gonna wear those gloves and I'm gonna put them on the lowest setting and see they should last because it's only, uh, you know, one or two degrees Celsius out there. So it's not extreme cold. And according to the book, those should last like five hours. So we should be able to do two and a half hours on the lawn tractor. Let's test them out and see if they actually last two and a half hours. Oh, the dreaded last run of the season. Right, guys I'm done two hours they're still working they're still warm I like this uh, low setting right now we're only at like one degree Celsius two degrees so it's not terribly cold um, but my hands are toasty warm these are freaking awesome I can't comment on longevity obviously at this point guys but so far what I've seen uh, I'm really impressed with these gloves I like them so if you guys are in the look for a new pair of heated gloves, I can say so far, Sabbath Heat, uh, I'm impressed.